It's been a prickly problem for years in Phoenix. Hikers accessing Camelback's Choya Trail, making a lot of noise along the way, blocking traffic, leaving trash all along a street of multi-million dollar homes. Now a solution is on the table. ABC 15's Melissa Blasius explains how city leaders are taking action. The Choya Trail. Hi guys, how you doing? I probably try to go at least once or twice a week. It's known as the easier way up Camelback, but there's no easy answer after clashes between hikers and people living near the trailhead. There wasn't anything like this where we never would have bought. It's so tense, this homeowner asked we not show her address nor her face. They all take up eight people wide on the street. You can hardly even drive through the street on a weekend, when, especially when the weather gets good. When thousands come on weekends, they leave trash, even go to the bathroom in the bushes. Many neighbors installed warning signs. If this was my house, I'd be worried too, you know. I'd rather have a trail hit like somewhere on that side. Next week, on October 4th, the Phoenix City Council will debate a long-term solution, whether to shift the trail behind the houses through what's now a golf course to existing parking for hikers on Invergordon Road. It's part of a larger rezoning proposal for the Phoenician Resort. So if they do decide that they want to reroute the path, there's still a lot of questions, like what would the new path through the golf course look like and how much would it cost taxpayers? City officials say if the zoning is approved, they'll have another vote at a later date on how to pay for the new Choya trailhead. Some estimate it'll cost $2 million. I think we can do something better with our money than that's with the trail. It's fine the way it is. In Phoenix, Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona.